Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching day 22 of my Mystery Whiskey Advent Calendar. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to day 22 of my Mystery Whiskey Advent or Dramvent Calendar. In this series I'm blind tasting one whiskey a day in the lead up to Christmas out of a possible 110 different whiskies. These whiskies are samples that have been sent to me by people in the whiskey community and my wife has kindly poured them blindly into this blue Glencairn for me. I'll nose them, I'll taste them, I'll tell you if I like them and I'll have a stab at what I think is in the glass. Shall we find out what I'm drinking? On to the whiskey. If you want to play along with me then just keep watching and you'll find out what's in my glass when I do. Otherwise take a look in the description now for a sneak peek. Let's start with the nose. Right, so I think I'll get some smoke, some brine, there's like sea salt. I'll get some toffee, some fudge. There's a sort of multi character in there as well. Possibly even some uh, wine. Not sure what type it's. it's Starting to give off some really, um, really fruity notes. There's some leather and some tobacco in there. Yeah, it's not bad. It instantly reminds me of um, a Scotch, possibly, uh, possibly a Highland or Island whiskey. Let's um, let's try it on the palate. Okay, so the first thing that hits me is, I think it's quite high ABV. Um, it's probably around 50%. There's lots of uh, hand rolling tobacco. It's, um, you know, fresh leafy tobacco that I'm getting. Lots of dry wood, lots of charred oak. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think there's any smoke on it though. What I was picking up on the nose might have been charred oak. So um, let's have another sip. Yeah, so now I'm getting lots of um, lots of fruit. I'm getting some of that toffee. It's um, really is overwhelming the palate. The uh, ABV, there's some heat, some peppery prickle. Definitely think this is uh, a scotch. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's any smoke there. I think I'm probably going to go with uh, my original uh, idea that it reminds me of a, a Highland or a or an Island whiskey. But I think there's a wine finish there of some sort. And um, yeah, it's at least 50% 50, 50 ABV, I guess. Maybe maybe even higher could it, could be, uh, you know, making its way up to 55. But um, it's quite tasty. It's a little bit bitter on, on the finish. And those sort of leather and tobacco notes contribute a little bit. But it's, um, yeah, it's quite nice. And obviously that high ABV is making me salivate, which um, always makes me, I don't know, it sort of draws you back for more almost. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice and um, yeah, it's quite a potent dram. It'll be interesting to, um, to see if I'm in the right sort of ballpark. Should we find out what I'm drinking? Okay, so this is an independent bottling of Glen Tocker's 11 year old at 58.9 percent abv by north star um i've only had one north star before and it was uh yeah it was an impressive uh, impressive bottling i've never had a glen tockers as far as i'm aware and um i'm not even certain where it is but but i would guess that it's probably a highland whiskey um i may be wrong but um i think that's you know if my geography's right i think that's likely a, a Highland whiskey. I said it's probably at least 55 in my last guess, 55% ABV, and it's 58.9. So, yeah, it's obviously um, obviously quite potent, and that's uh, most likely calf strength. It's an impressive dram. I'd definitely um, definitely look at um, uh, a Glen Tockers again after tasting that. But um, 
it could be the way it's finished it could be you know how it's aged it could be just that batch that made it a little bit too um too bitter uh, at times but it's um yeah it is a tasty dram and um i'm going to take more time and um, appreciate it properly so hopefully you'll join me for t tomorrow for day 23 i'll see you then stauncher i hope you enjoyed this video if you did why not give it a like or a comment and please consider subscribing for more videos like this.